So hey guys, this is Vishwit and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Python using the Conda distribution on Windows. So there are various ways how you can get Python on your system and Conda happens to be one of them. So what's the speciality about Conda is, Conda is like targeted towards machine learning and data science guys. Uh, it will give you all sets of libraries that you will require for machine learning data science. So you will get matplotlib, you will get numpy, you will get pandas, you will get Jupyter notebook, even you will get spider and many more tools pre-installed with condas. So uh, you can get these tools out of the box. So now why I use Conda? So Conda comes with all the libraries. That's the first reason. And the second is I love managing the environments with Conda. Like I am completely habituated to using Conda. So that's the second reason of using it. So uh, I will recommend you to use Condas because in my videos, while I am building something or showing you something, most of the time I'll be using Condas, okay? Rather than a Python virtual environment that is a VENV. So I'll show you how to install it on Windows and later we can check how to install it on Linux. So first I'll open my Chrome browser and you can type your Anaconda. Now you can come to here, the first link. I will post the link in the description. So now you can come to downloads and okay, it started downloading. Very nice. So it'll take some time to download because the file size is a little bit heavy. I should not say a little bit, it's quite heavy, 621 MB, okay. But uh, I recommend you to use Condas, but it is not required, it's up to you. Like there are like almost 90% of the packages you might never use, okay. I am habituated to use it, so I use it a lot. So it's taking some time. Okay, so now it is installed. So if I go in show in folder, okay, so you can see there are only one setup. Okay, so this is like a completely new uh, Windows system that I'm working on. So I have not set up anything. I have just installed Chrome browser and nothing else. So everything is like clean over here. So now if I run it, it's pretty simple setting up. Just next, next, next. Only one thing that you have to do is you have to add condas to your path. Just make sure you do it, okay? And by default, conda is installing Python 3.9, which is like the stable version for most of the libraries. But if you want, you can install Python 3.10, but not now. It will install Python 3.9 by default as the base environment. And we can later create our own environment and install Python 3.10 and 3.11. So if I do an install, it is starting. It'll take some time because the package is uh, really heavy. It has to extract a lot of files. So now it is completed. It took like, uh, I think three to four minutes. And if I do next, next, and we can like, you can check the documentation, but I'll skip it and finish. So Conda is installed. Now how we can verify? Uh, it's very simple. Okay. First, there are some couple of changes that we have to do. Yep. So you can see our Conda prompt is installed over here. Okay. So if you click over here, yeah, our path is being shown and base is being shown. Okay. So that means Conda is installed. Now, if you are accessing Conda from Windows uh, command prompt, like CMD, if I search, you can see there is no base over here. If we type Python, okay, it is able to take from Anaconda, but you can see it is not able to recognize the environment that we are working on. So for that, you have to do one change. If I do exit, uh, now for that, we have to do Conda activate 
it's not activate conda init cmd okay cmd.exe so it's like conda init cmd.exe yes so you can see there are some things that it changed modified over here right so now it is asking to close and rerun a command prompt so i'll close it and if i do cmd okay still it's it's not coming up so conda init cmd dot exe okay no action taken but it should it should come up we do only conda in it yes it changed this file modified now oh, if now if again we open command prompt okay i really don't know why it is not showing me so now uh, i am able to see that for some reason it is not able to take base as its default environment but we can actually activate the default environment by conda activate base okay so now you can see we have the base over here now this is our environment that we uh, installed uh, and conda also gives us another uh, anaconda prompt you can use this one also so both of them works just fine okay so it's better uh, you use the anaconda prompt okay you don't have to type one one line over here you just open and it opens with the base so i think that is fine and in the next video i will show you how to install conda on linux machine so if this video was helpful do press that like button and as always thank you for watching i am going to see you in an upcoming awesome video